Five Nights at Freddy's takes place in pizzerias. Go figure. And one of the most popular Five Nights at Freddy's games is actually Pizzeria Simulator, where you get to make your own pizzeria. But how much would it actually cost to open and run a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? Well, in this video, that's what we're going to find out. In this video, I'll be going through all the various FNAF locations and calculate how much it would actually cost to open and run the location. In this video, I'm only going to be focusing on FNAF 1, 2 and Security Breach, as they are the most interesting to focus on. And trust me, you are not ready for the Security Breach numbers. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe, because at 20k, I'll be showing a teaser for my upcoming fan game. But without further ado, let's get started. The FNAF 1 location is definitely the smallest of the locations that we'll be looking at today. And with this, we can start by figuring out how big the FNAF location actually is. For our scale, we will be using Bonnie, who is about 6 foot 6 inches tall. And with this, we can calculate how big each room in the FNAF Pizzeria actually is. So, with our calculations, we can see that the show stage is 176.21 square feet, the dining area is 1225 square feet, the backstage room is 137.28 square feet, the restrooms are 168 square feet, and the toilets are estimated to be about 31.36 feet each. The pirate cove is about 91.02 feet, the kitchen is about 320 feet, each of the hallways are 273 square feet, the supply closet is 128.76 square feet, and finally the office is 111 square feet. So in total, the entire FNAF 1 location is about 3,665.99 square feet. From this, we can calculate how much the foundation of the FNAF 1 location would cost. On average, each square foot of land costs between $100 and $800 per square foot. But for convenience's sake and because Phasma Entertainment would go for the cheaper option, we can determine that it would cost about $366,599 to build the pizzeria. But that's just the foundation. Let's start with the two stages. From what I could find, a stage similar to the FNAF ones would cost about $50 per square foot. So with that logic, the main stage would cost about $8,810.50 and the Pirate Cove would cost about $4,551. Then we have the dining area with the chairs and tables. There are 6 tables and 60 chairs. Each chair would probably cost about $20 to $50 based on their quality and each of the tables would be about $500 each meaning that it would cost about $6,000 for the tables and chairs. Now the cleaning supplies, which would be about $200 at the minimum for just the basics. Now, let's look at the kitchen. An average pizzeria kitchen would cost about $350,000, nearly as much as the space for the entire building. And now we're going to look at the office doors. These doors would be worth a lot, so let's look at that. We know that the doors is based on an electronic magnet system, which we will calculate that price into the bill section. The doors themselves would probably cost about $10,000 each, which is rather expensive for such a simple door. Now the bills. The typical electricity bill for a restaurant is about $40,000 a year, but because of the nature of the business, let's just say the business would only have its power on during its opening hours, which we're going to guess is going to be about 10 hours from 10am to 8pm, which is the average I guess. So let's cut the power bill in half since we're going to be using a backup generator. So the power bill will be about $20,000 a year. However, I'm going to change it back to 40000 again for one reason. They have to power the animatronics with charging pads and I don't know how much they cost, so yeah, back to 40 k The backup generator would probably cost about $20 a day to run for 6 hours, which makes sense for why the business is like this. Finally, we will include the animatronics, which if you haven't seen my video on that, you should totally watch. We calculated the animatronics would cost about $1 million in total. So with all that in mind, the total cost to open a Fire Freddy's 1 location is about $2.5 million just to get the place open, with an estimate of it costing about an extra $300,000 a year just to stay open, including all of the food. So Fazbear Entertainment would need to make over $821 a day just to stay open, which is actually average, but everything else is quite expensive. But this is only our first location, so on to Final Fantasy 2. So, Final Fantasy Freddy's 2 is way, way bigger than Final Fantasy Freddy's 1. But wait, wait, it's not? Oh yeah, so fun fact, the Final Fantasy Freddy's 2 location is meant to be bigger, but if we do some size comparison, uh, no, no it is not at all. In fact, it's way smaller, and because it has more rooms, I'm going to skip all the individual room sizes and just tell you that the entire location 
is 2,577.88 square feet, which would make the building foundation worth about $257,788. Now, this location doesn't have a kitchen, so yeah, I'm not calculating it. The power bill would go up to 40k again because the power is on all night, but everything else stays the same since there are no doors. However, we get to include the FNAF 2 animatronics, which we calculated to be worth about $6.45 million, meaning that overall, the FNAF 2 location would be worth about $7 million. And now, oh god. So, the FNAF Mega Pizzaplex. Oh god, this will be an absolute f***ing nightmare. So, I'm not even going to pretend I calculated this, I just looked up how large the Pizzaplex is. So, about 606,000 square feet, or about 13 acres. Yeah, f***ing huge. So that would put the total cost of the foundation for the land to be about... $60,600,000! And that's just the foundation! Now, to include every other expense, including the different areas, like the daycare, Monte Golf, Fazer Blast, Roxy Raceway, the parts and service, all the various elevators, the kitchens, and yes, multiple kitchens, each of which are worth like 40 to 80k a pop, not including the massive one downstairs, which leads to the massive trash compactor area, all the security measures, all the advanced technology, and of course the animatronics. Oh my god. This is by far the largest number you have ever seen. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe before you hear this, because this is insane. So the cost to open the Security Breach Mega Pizza Plex with all of its animatronics is $20 billion. And with how much money it would cost to maintain everything for a year, which is about $10 million, Fazbear Entertainment would need to make about $30,000 a day in order to stay open. Now, you may be wondering, how can Fazbear Entertainment be able to afford all of this? Well, I have some theories, and if you want to see that video, help me get this video to 1000 likes and I'll make a video explaining my theory on this, which is quite interesting. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers and I would love to hit it before Halloween. I'll leave links to all the places I got information in the description below. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.